Hi, so uh, we're going to look at what happens when you put a wire carrying a current into a magnetic field. Uh, you get, in those circumstances, what we call a catapult field, where uh, the circular field around the wire produces an imbalance in field above and below it, and there is a net push then. And there's a rule for uh, dealing with this, and the rule is called Fleming's left hand rule. So the left hand rule allows us to determine the direction of the force on a wire carrying a current when it's in a magnetic field. Okay? Okay, so the first thing about Fleming's left hand rule is its use of the left hand. So here we have a left hand and what you do is you take your finger and your thumb and you point like you're making a pretend gun. So thumb straight up in the air, first finger pointing straight out ahead of you. What you then do is make your second finger point out to the side and what you get then is three mutually perpendicular directions that form a set of axes. So your pointing first finger corresponds to this axis, your thumb corresponds to this vertical axis, and your second finger corresponds to this axis. So it's like having X, Y, and Z components of, of direction on your fingers and thumb. So your pointing finger always represents the magnetic field, and if there are poles this will point from a north towards a south. Your second finger represents current and it always flows from a positive towards a negative. Your thumb always represents thrust and so this is always relating to a wire in a magnetic field. There's current flowing in the wire. You line your second finger up with that current. There's a magnetic field that the wire is in. You line your first finger up with that. And the whatever way your thumb is now pointing will tell you the way that wire will be pushed. So we're going to evaluate how the uh, current uh, in a wire that's passing through a magnetic field behaves. So here we have a wire. The current's running this way. The magnetic field is running from north to south here. And the idea is to compare this current with this particular field and work out what way that wire is going to be pointed. If the field is that way and the current is that way, what kind of force do we expect? And the left hand rule actually gives us that. So if we introduce the left hand, and the idea is that the left hand we put our finger pointing in the direction of the field, we allow our second finger to line up with the current. Okay, I'm just position this. First finger pointing the direction of field, second finger pointing the direction of current, and what we find then is that with those lined up, we get a thumb pointing field that way, current that way gives us our thumb pointing upward, which means this wire will be pushed upward. So hopefully you can recognize that if you keep your finger for field pointing straight across like this and twist your hand so that current is going the opposite way you'll end up with your thumb pointing straight down so reversing current reverses the thrust and if you keep your current pointing that way and uh, reverse the field again you'll find that you have to have your finger pointing straight back at you for that to happen and your thumb will be pointing straight down so that reversing the field on its own will reverse the force so reversing the current will reverse the force, reversing the field will reverse the force, and it doesn't take a genius to work out that if you reverse them both, the force ends up still pointing up.